prominent conservative pundit, Milo Yiannopoulos, and actually I'm not sure if it's Milo or Milo because I've heard people pronounce it Milo, uh, but he was permanently banned from Twitter yesterday. So according to Twitter, he's guilty of, quote, inciting or engaging in the targeted abuse or harassment of uh, Leslie Jones from the new Ghostbusters movie. Uh, so what exactly happened? Well, he said to her, she, uh, you know, apparently said something about how much hate she's getting over Ghostbusters or something to that effect. And he responded, quote, if at first you don't succeed, because your work is terrible, play the victim. And then he puts in all caps, everyone gets hate mail. Okay, so, uh, she responded with, you have been reported, I hope they lock your account. And then, I'm hearing this guy's a columnist, how sad, is this how he gets his readers through spreading hate? I'm acting like a victim? Nice job. And then uh, Milo responds, barely literate. America needs better schools. Uh, and then at some point, I believe he also said, rejected by another black dude. And, you know, people are saying, ooh, sting, because uh, he's comparing Leslie Jones to a black dude. And for those of you who don't know, Milo is gay, and he's made quite a thing about the fact that He's into black dudes. Uh, so, that was what led Twitter to do what they did. Now, there's another aspect to this as well. I went and I looked at uh, Leslie Jones' Twitter feed. She, she ended up quitting Twitter over this because she was getting so much hate. And I went through because she ended up retweeting a lot of the hate that she got. And I read through it and, oof, it was rough. Like, my, I was stomach churning. So, I'm going through it and, I mean... So many people com comparing her to a monkey and a gorilla and an orangutan. And uh, there was even at points people were using a fake tweet generator to make up shit that she said against Milo. Like they would put in a fake tweet generator her saying something like, I can't stand this fag and we should do a holocaust of the fags or something to that extent. And so she's frantically, like, retweeting it with that in there, saying, somebody help me find this account. This isn't me saying it. So she thought it was another account, somebody impersonating her saying that. But it was just a fake tweet generator, which they do exist. So she was losing her mind. She's like, I, I didn't say this. I didn't, I, I didn't say this. And then also, again, all the other stuff she's getting, people are calling her the N-word. People are, apparently, somehow, people were DMing her, and they're, they're threatening her, and they're showing, you know... Uh, pictures of her with semen on her face. Like, let's be clear, the stuff that they were doing, so many of the people who were fans or whatever of Milo, yeah, you crossed a fucking line. You definitely, like, there's a, there's a, a question as to when are you just being a dick and when are you actually harassing somebody? And that's a hard question with a lot of gray area. But one of the things that you definitely can't do, and all those people should be suspended, is when they do the fake tweet generator, and they put things that she didn't say, and they, they make those things blow up, well, then you're just doing a libel. Like, I I'm a free speech absolutist, but there are three things. Libel, slander, and direct threats of violence that nobody defends. Because those are things that, e even under... United States law, with our First Amendment, which protects freedom of speech and freedom of expression, you're not allowed to do libel, slander, or direct threats of violence. Those are indeed illegal. And here we're not even talking about legality, we're just talking about whether or not the private company can take action because they don't want it on their platform. And they have every right to do that, they don't have to abide, they're not the government, they don't have to abide by the First Amendment, so they could shut out whoever they want for whatever reason they want. But if I was head of Twitter and I see somebody doing the libelous tweets, pretending she said, let's kill, let's do a genocide of gay people, yeah, I'm gonna ban your fucking account. You can't do that. That's libel, you fucking morons. Okay, so... There's no doubt in my mind that she was harassed and that the people went way too far going against her. Now, having said that, should Milo Yiannopoulos be banned? No. In fact, I don't even think it's close. <laughs> because, again, I told you what he said. If at first you don't succeed because your work is terrible, play the victim, everyone gets hate mail. 
And then he said, barely literate to something she said, America needs better schools. And then according to one of the articles, he also said at another point, rejected by another black dude. Okay, here's what that is. That's him being a dick. Here's what you're allowed to do in my mind. Be a dick. You know who else is a dick? Me. Now granted, Milo and I are dicks to different sets of people. I'm a dick to him. He's a dick to me. But we're allowed to be dicks. We're allowed to be dicks. So, uh, for example, now this is where a lot of people, and I, I, let me be clear about this, I despise Milo. I think he is massively, massively overrated, I think he's an idiot, I think he's a king troll, uh, but that, I, that doesn't mean that I would censor him and ban him. So, just imagine for a second, if the situation was reversed, if the situation was flipped, so for example, let me tell you something I tweeted yesterday, I said, um, that I asked, what time is uh, Uday Trump speaking? And this is something I've done on a regular basis. Yesterday was the RNC. But I've repeatedly compared uh, Donald Trump's kids to Uday Hussein and Kusay Hussein. Now, those dudes were rapists. And those dudes were murderers. And those dudes were out-and-out, -out, bloodthirsty, insane lunatics. Okay? Now, what I'm doing is comedic exaggeration. I'm comparing them to Uday and Kusay Hussein. Let's say, instead of just saying it in my Twitter feed like I did, I, I tagged one of them in it. So I did the at at them. And then let's say some people who follow me, I'm not tooting my own horn, horn here, slash I am. I got a lot of fans too. So I say it at them, and then some people who are listeners to my show start tweeting at him and uh, tweeting at them and mocking them and they keep running with it. Ah, Uday Hussein! They start sending pictures of when those kids were fucking killing people and people being killed in Saddam Hussein's Iraq. Well, then all of a sudden, well, I mean, what, what's happening here? All of a sudden, now you can say, well, this guy just incited hatred and incited harassment against uh, Donald Trump's kids. Look, they're sending pictures of people being hung. Is that a threat of violence? Well, maybe that's a threat of violence. I mean, look, this is the guy who started it, the secular talk. He's got a big following and on YouTube. He incited all these different people. They're comparing him to Uday and, Hus and Kusay Hussein. They're saying these guys are genocidal, you know? So, in that scenario, how would my the people that, I lis that are listening to me react? What would they say? They'd be like, that's fucking preposterous. All he did was tag him in a tweet, and he was joking. It was comedic exaggeration. And by the way, even if I did it, in a way where it's like, no, I'm purposely trying to be a dick and I'm not even trying to be funny. So what? Okay, let me give you one more if that doesn't, you know, make you think of this in a new way. Uh, how about Bill Maher, who said yesterday, um, Trump's sons, douchebag Von Fuckface and Thurston Shitbag the Third, you'll recall, look like the date rapist in every after-school special. That's what Bill Maher said. Now, again, imagine for a second he added, um, added. Did we just make him a new word Because from Twitter? Uh, he put, you know, put, sent that to Donald Trump's kids, like, so that they could read it in their, uh, feed. If he did that, he's got way more fans than I do. In that case, people are liable to, like, keep comparing him to a date rapist. And who knows, let's say somebody uses the fake tweet generator. And they, you know, they have a tweet of one of Trump's kids saying, I did rape or I'm pro-rape or whatever. In that scenario, again, the question isn't whether or not you ban the person who's doing the libel. I already said you should, and I think probably the overwhelming majority of people go, of course, ban, the, ban that person. But do you ban Marr for doing that? Dude, this is a vicious joke. <laughs> one I like, I retweeted it. So, there's a difference between being a dick and being a king troll, and he is a troll. And doing something that should get you banned or get you censored. Guys, like, again, I get it. This is not technically a free speech issue because this isn't the government. This is a private platform and they get to do whatever the fuck they want. They don't, they don't have to abide by the First Amendment. That's just for the government. But it's the principle of the thing. You don't need free speech for the things that we all agree with. You don't need free speech for somebody to come out and say, Apple pie is delicious, and mother is fantastic! You don't need free speech for that. Nobody's gonna raise a stink over that. You need free speech specifically for the assholes and the pricks. And every, like, I get the sense that a lot of people are like, 
happy over Milo being banned, but the second that this censorship brig brigade gets turned onto somebody you like, all of a sudden it's gonna be, oh, free speech, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, 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 they're allowed to say that. He's just being a dick. He's just being an asshole. That's not something that you don't you should get banned for that. You shouldn't get banned for that. So remember, he sent maximum three tweets. Three tweets to Leslie Jones. And at other times in the past, he has more along the lines of incited people by saying stuff like, you know, it's a shame that these people get away with saying these kinds of things, and then his internet mob attacks somebody. He didn't even do that in this instance. He was just like, you know, hey, your work is fucking terrible, you're barely literate. Which again, he's being an asshole. But is that enough to get somebody banned? Well, no, because then you go through, a through Twitter with a fine-tooth comb and eventually you're gonna end up banning everybody, man. And a lot of- like, I got tweets yesterday when I, I said, hashtag free Milo, and people were like, yeah, but you know what? He's such an asshole that I- of course I'm gonna- uh, I end up supporting this. And my response is, dude, asshole is massively subjective. You know who a Ted Cruz fan thinks is an asshole and would have me banned today? Well, I already spoiled it. Me! Ted Cruz fans would look at me and go, that guy's beyond the pale, that guy's a horrible person, Bill Maher a horrible person, gotta ban him, gotta ban him. So you gotta stand up for people who you despise to say what they want to say. Look, if he had done a direct threat of violence against her, I wouldn't be doing this segment. I'd say ban the motherfucker, he just did a direct threat of violence. If he had done the libel, which I, I didn't see, now maybe I'm wrong, somebody can, you guys can send me, if it indeed is true that he did one of those fake tweet things, it, one, a fake tweet generator on her. If he did the libel, well, that's different, and then, yeah, you should ban, because you can't just make up shit that other people say, especially when you're accusing them of supporting genocide or some shit. Can't do it, can't have it. So if he did those things, fucking ban him, man. But as far the facts I have right now, he did not do those things. He was just being a dick, and then a lot of his idiot followers, and yes, c keep it real, racist and sexist followers, because they are that, they are bigots, the ones who sent the tweets to Leslie, a lot of them took it too far. So, God, don't be, don't be a dick. Don't be a prick. Don't send tweets of, oh, you look like a monkey, you're not pretty, you're a fucking baboon, this and that. It's a terrible movie, I'm gonna call you the N-word, here's a picture of you with jizz on your face, I'm gonna make up stuff about you. Don't send, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, because you're just assholes, and I mean that sincerely. But at the same time, should he be banned because his followers are low IQ morons? No. No. And he shouldn't. He shouldn't, man. And, I, I, again, I don't even really think it's close. You're allowed to be an asshole, you're allowed to be a prick, you're allowed to be a troll. And now that, you know, Twitter opens the door to this, it's just a massive slippery slope. And it's a matter of time until you say something they don't like, or you say something somebody else doesn't like, and then anything, ANYTHING, if you stretch the argument, and somebody makes a convincing enough case, anything can be considered incitement to harassment. There's- that's too much of a gray area, the rules are not concrete enough, and it- it- call it what it is, man, it is slowly degrading into a platform that does not embrace free speech. And does not allow people to be assholes and be pricks. And if you want to go in that direction, you know, eventually, the outlet loses what made it good in the first place. So, I despise Milo Yiannopoulos, Milo again, however the fuck you pronounce it. And by the way, I, if anything, I should have a personal vendetta against him on this. But I'm actually principled. Now, why do I say that? I did a segment once where I critiqued Milo when he was on Joe Rogan's podcast because he was defending Christianity like an idiot. And so I went after him. Because, oh, Islam's so bad how they treat gays. And Joe Rogan's like, hey, jackass, you're a Christian, and look at how they treated gays in the past, and how they treat them right now. They're not for gay marriage. Many denominations are not for gay marriage, and they're not for the anti-discrimination laws. So Joe Rogan went after him. I did a segment siding with Joe Rogan, slamming Milo. The company that he works for, they did a copyright claim on the video, and they took all the revenue from the video. So apparently, you know, hey, for him, he also is a hypocrite. Keep it real. Oh, yeah, no, no, free speech, free speech, free speech. Oh, did you critique me? and say something I don't like, well, I'm not gonna let you have the revenue to your own video, I'm gonna take it because a little clip of me was in it, and I own the rights to all of it. So, again, if anybody should have a personal vendetta against the guy because he's a fucking hypocrite, it's me. But I'm not gonna do that because I am principled, and I'm gonna say, even though I despise the guy, even though I think he's an idiot, even though I think he's massively overrated, no, no, 
He's allowed to be a dick. Let him be a dick.